Hello friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Hilary and today I will be looking over what were my this year's goals and seeing how well I'm doing with them. So this is just me coming in every beginning of new season and just going over seeing how well I'm doing with this year's goals and see if I need to maybe pay attention to some of my goals a little bit more or maybe I need to just re-evaluate some, some of them. In general, I have uh, set this year's reading goal for 120 books and uh, I have read as of this moment around 30 of them. According to Goodreads, I am about 9 books ahead of schedule, although I haven't read anything in a couple of days so that might have changed, but in otherwise I think I'm in a really good place. Uh, maybe it may, might sound a lot, but, but I usually read a lot more during the winter months and then I'm usually a little bit more slumpy, if not properly in a reading slump in the summer because usually I spend a lot more time outside, traveling, hanging out with my family and I just don't feel like reading. And then usually in the November or so I figure out that I've had reading goals and then I pull speed power through some of the books and that continues into the new year. Another of my goals was to read a little bit more of the physical books I own. I have about I think 80 or to 90 physical books that are on read. Uh, it might clearly change and some of them I have categorized as not read although I have read but I have read them so many years ago and I need if I want to finish the series, I need to reread all of them. Additionally, also there is the Supernatural and Angel book series that I think takes about uh, 30 books all in together or maybe more. So uh, I think I am in a quite good place. According to my calculations, I have about 50-50, so all of the books I own, about 50% are read and about 50% are unread. I do would like to have the unread uh, books a little bit smaller, but I think it's quite doable. If we take the long grade and very good books that I have been wanting to read and uh, get through the last year's backlog uh, for the last year, I have mostly just Illumigrate because I subscribed to Fairy Loot in December last year. So I haven't got, gotten through that very much. I have read three Fairy Loot slash Illumigrate books. So I don't want to leave it pay more attention to that goal. Or from the reading aspects, I haven't read a lot of this year's releases. I think around three books, but I have read around 10 books that are 2021 releases. So those were the books that I was really excited about uh, that were coming up last year. So I'm quite happy with catching up on those. For my Goodreads TBR, I do want to uh, make that number a little bit smaller. Um, I think in my Goodreads TBR there should be around 300 to 400 books. I can't remember the exact number and have been divided that into yearly categories. We have uh, 2022 and those are where I'm putting new books as I'm finding them and that usually grows throughout the year even if I read from that. We have the 2021 to 2020 that is the shortest one with 24 books but they're mostly mainly just series so I'm a little bit hesitant in going into that. And then we have the 2019 and previous ones because before that I didn't uh, categorize them by the year I found the books and uh, added to my Goodreads. Additionally, I also have the series started part, but that I don't count as Goodreads uh, TBR numbers. Sadly, I haven't done very well on my Goodreads TBR as of right now. I think I've read about 10 books out of 30 uh, that were on my Goodreads TBR and the rest are the books that I just found randomly somewhere from the internet and I'm not 100% happy, although we should take, in, take into account that most of Fairy Lord and Illumine Great books aren't actually on that list on my Goodreads. Uh, some of them are, but they're by accident. So it's not the best, although I haven't read a lot of Illumine Great and Fairy Lord, so I should a little bit concentrate more for the next three months on my Goodreads TBR. I have a couple of ideas, for example, reading the shortest books there. There are a couple of really good horrors and uh, mystery uh, thrillers that I'm really interested in. And that is an easy way to make through that. I've also made a list of uh, duologies and trilogies 
where the whole series is on their thousand pages so that way i might do themed reading blogs where i go through the whole series or uh, go, go through the whole series in two months not just in a week additionally also i have made a list of all the standalone books that are on my goodreads dpr and there are about 50 to 60 books depends on what is coming out at what point and I can just go through the standalones and that way I don't go into starting more new series. But talking about the new series, I have started 12 series and I have finished one this year and caught up with one. So that's not the best. Uh, but I usually start more series uh, in the beginning of the year and then try to catch up and finish them in the last year. Additionally, my main goal, I think, for the next three months will be catching up a little bit with my Goodreads DVR and then seeing and maybe trying to finish the rest of the series that I've started in the second half or maybe in the summer season. From the last year, I did have two of long-term priority series that were a longer than 10 book series that I was trying to go through. The first one of them is the Charlie Davison series that is about the Grim Reaper and is, uh, who is love with the devil's son. It's a cozy paranormal romance mystery book and occasionally I really really love it. I think the book five was just such an emotional ride and such brilliantly written. However, at some point it gets a little bit too ridiculous and I'm not 100% enjoying it. I did, I think, manage to get to the seventh book out of 13 or so, so I haven't been doing very well with that and I should take that back up. Additionally, the second priority series was The Vampire Chronicles by Adelaide and Rice and for that uh, I usually buy the book if I'm planning to read it next month. So uh, I am right now, I should be reading The Prince of Death and The Realms of Atlantis and that is after this, I have one more book to read from that series, although there is the Mayfair Witches and I think the Ramses Damned series also and so on from the, that old universe. So, but I do want to finish and catch up with the main series. So I do have two books to read and hopefully I can do it in the near months because I do plan to start The Wheel of Time. And we all know what a big series is this one. Additionally, I also want to start with Expanse series and that is the short one also. So I do have to finish a couple of series before I can start with this one. So I would feel a little bit better about myself. On the subject of reading a little bit more diversely, and my main goal is to really read a little bit more diversely in the realms of genres. I, my main genre is fantasy or paranormal romance that I usually enjoy the most. So I do want to read a little bit more non-fiction, more mystery thrillers, although I think the number of mystery thrillers I read throughout the year is quite decent. And for me, I do categorize mystery thriller, horror all together as one as of right now, since I haven't been reading too much of that genre. Also, I do try to read at least a couple of the contemporary romance uh, books that have no actual supernatural fantastical sci-fi elements into them. I think my favorite as of right now is the Heidi's Guide to Four Letter Words that I absolutely enjoy and another one is I think Black Lingerie or Just Lingerie by Alessandra Torre that I read last year that was really nice. The tension and the anticipation in that book was so good, I really do want to reread that. But otherwise, in my reading goals, I think I'm doing quite well. And for the next three months, I will be concentrating more on the, uh, getting my Goodreads TBR to a manageable, more manageable levels, I think. For the rereads, I do have a lot of re uh, book, books that I want to reread. And one of them are here, at least, or two of them. I do want to at some point go through the Aragon or Inheritance Cycle. I do own all the big books physically, so I do want to go through them. I do think that I will be managing to read it in within a month or two, so they should be quite 
quick and fast books and I also want to reread Crescent City, The House of Earth and Blood so I can read the second book. However, as of yet, right now I haven't ordered the second book yet because I know I don't have time for that in April but maybe in May or June. So it should be coming in the near months. And honestly, I read this a lot of months after like, it actually came out. And for the, this book, my goal was to finish this before I think May or June that I started it last year. So I would have read this book within a year. And honestly, I am like here. So leave it over halfway in. And I haven't even touched this book. So I do have to and want to actually take this and start reading it. It's a very nice one, but the sh stories are really, really short, so I can't read more than five stories in one go. And honestly, I just don't pick it up, although it is near me on my table most of the days. For my channel part, I didn't have a lot of goals. I just, my main goal was to keep going. And for that, I have been <laughs> not doing that well. I haven't put an up as much videos as I planned and I have been reducing the number of videos I plan to put up within a month and that is okay because I already figured out I should reduce the numbers in the spring and summertime because then I won't be spending as much time at home. Additionally also I'm a little bit behind schedule with my editing and filming because I haven't felt the greatest but hopefully I can catch up now that I have reduced a little bit the amount of videos I'm producing. So hopefully that works because I don't want to reduce any more of the number of videos going up. And I also always, if I have any good additional ideas, I can put them somewhere in between. For another goal was to be a little bit more active on my social media. I did it really, really well in January with the amount of videos going up, amount of pictures going to my Instagram account, account and also how much I interacted with different people in different platforms. I'm really 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 happy but the February wasn't very good and March is going so and so. So I uh, so we'll see how that goes hopefully if it's more springtime and the weather isn't minus degrees and always snowing and slushing and ice and raining outside I can do a little bit more different pictures for my Instagram account and also maybe be a little bit more active in the social media and also commenting on other people's videos and just chatting and being more active in reading screens. But otherwise, I think I'm doing decently. <laughs> but I think that's about it for now. I will be coming back in uh, June and see how well I did in March, May, April and May. April is my birthday month, so I will be uh, giving myself a little bit more slack on that one. I have already planned to reread one or two series and books, but also going into some of the books I'm really, really excited about and maybe keeping it a little bit more loose and free and see what I like. Although I do like to give myself DVR, so we'll see what happens. And also I have been a little bit um, trying out and designing a new DVR game, so I will be I'm trying it out for the season of spring and then if everything works out I will be coming out with that in the summer. So it might be, my DVR videos might be a little bit more interesting for most people and instead of that, uh, that uh, I changed that for my uh, uh, some planned summer readathon because I think that will be a little bit more interesting as of right now and hopefully more fun to watch for you also. But I think that's about it for now. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and bye!